Good morning, friends. I think in our last class we have discussed about introduction to the industrial engineering. We have seen what is the scope of industrial engineering. Then we discussed about the different duties performed by industrial engineering department. And obviously, my industrial engineer is working in that industrial engineering department. Therefore, we discussed about the different functions which my industrial engineer is supposed to perform. Once that first part regarding the introductory or introduction regarding uh, industrial engineering is complete, now we are moving further towards one of the most important concept as far as industrial organization is concerned. Because each and every person who is working within that particular industry, he is always running behind productivity. And therefore, in today's class, basically we are going to discuss about what exactly mean by productivity, what are the different types of productivity and as I want to improve this particular productivity, how to measure whether the productivity has been improved or not, therefore the measurement of productivity and as each and every person wants to improve productivity, are there any techniques which are available? so that it is possible for everyone to improve this particular productivity. These techniques we are going to discuss and in the last we are going to discuss about the productivity improvement program. So to start with the first, what exactly mean by productivity or how to define productivity? Basically there are number of authors who have defined this particular productivity in different you can say the terms. but if you are going to find out the summary of this particular all definitions given by all the authors, then we come to know that basically this particular productivity is nothing but it is a quantitative ratio of output to input. That means if I know the exact output of that particular machine, that particular plant or that particular section and what are the different inputs that we have already used to produce those particular outputs then it is just a quantity ratio that about output upon input which gives me the productivity of that particular machine of that particular section or of that particular department. We are going to discuss this particular different definitions of productivity in our next slide but from this particular slide we just come to know that productivity is nothing but it is a quantity ratio of output to input. You might have studied this particular right hand side that is output to input as a definition for other term also. Yes, obviously this is nothing but the efficiency. That means few or all of you already know that this particular output to input is also going to give me efficiency. Then is there any difference between productivity and efficiency? Because if productivity is also a quantity ratio of output to input and efficiency is also a quantity ratio of output to input, then the question arises in our mind whether this particular productivity or efficiency is one and the same or is there any difference between productivity and efficiency. This is the right point where we can discuss about this particular productivity and efficiency. To understand it proper, I can assign this particular efficiency term to suppose one particular motor. If I want to find out what is the efficiency of that particular motor, then I just want to find out what that particular motor is going to give me the output. That means I am just going to measure the output of that particular motor and what we have already supplied for that particular motor as the input that I am going to find out. And therefore, then I come to know that this particular ratio of output to input regarding that particular efficiency of that particular motor, we can obtain. But as far as the machine productivity is concerned, I can find out what is the output that machine is going to give me and to generate that particular output, what input I have already supplied for that particular machine, that particular term is going to give me productivity. But now if I am going to compare this particular productivity and efficiency, one thing that is sure that as far as the output of that particular or that particular motor efficiency is concerned there will be always certain losses which are occurred as far as that particular input which we are going to be provided on output which we are going to get. That means we are never having 100% efficiency from that particular 
motor. But if I am going to observe the productivity of that particular machine, then I can say that yes, we can get 100% efficiency or even more than 100% efficiency, 100% uh, productivity, sorry, or more than 100% productivity from that particular machine. That means we have got the difference between productivity and efficiency. Efficiency we can have up to or we cannot have more than or equal to 100%, whereas productivity we can have equal to or more than 100%. Now, what basically this particular productivity is? In simple terms, I can say productivity is nothing but it is an attitude of mind. We want to improve productivity for that particular machine and for that we must be prepared from our mind that yes, we are going to improve or increase the productivity for that particular machine. And that is why it is said it is the mentality of progress, mentality of progress of the constant improvement of that which exists. Obviously, it is a certainty of being able to do better today than yesterday and continuously because day by day we want to improve that particular productivity and that is why whatever we have already produced yesterday, our target for today will be obviously more than yesterday's target. It is a constant adoption of economic and social life to changing conditions and at the last we can say it is a continual effort to apply new techniques and methods. It is basically the faith in human progress. We know that human beings are definitely going to make progress because they are continuously want to improve themselves. They want to produce more and more better and better from that particular organization within that particular organization from that particular machine or from that particular section. From this introductory part regarding the productivity and the different you can say term regarding the productivity and efficiency which we already discussed. One question for all of you, just for few seconds, just think over this particular question. Productivity is a quantitative relationship between 